What's up, Scorpio? It's Obsidian Lotus Owl. I'm here to do the daily for the 24th, 25th of February, 2021. Before we get into it, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, show your love and support. Like I always ask, please keep it positive. Also, if you'd like a personal, that information is going to be in the description box below. How to reach me, how to make a payment. They are still at least $20 for 20 minutes and same days are 40. Okay. So getting right into it. Let's just get it. Let's get into it. Scorpio. What's going on with you guys? All right. Why are we so hard to talk to you right now? Spirit angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio with any messages you would like for them to receive. Why are you so hard to talk to you right now? Scorpio. Okay, so in your romantic life, let me draw one more. We have um, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So you could be having, um, could be having, you could have, <laughs> you could be in a situation where uh, you have feelings or there's some sort of romantic feelings towards somebody here or there's some sort form of expression that you would like to express. Um, this is your red, this is your flag, not red flag, excuse me, maybe, maybe there is a red flag, but this is the green flag, right? The go, um, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, the bond deepens. So, um, this is really about getting to know your person. Okay. So, um, if you're not already doing this, I feel like this is spirit saying, Hey, take the time, get to know this person. Um, maybe, um, if you haven't, express maybe that's what you need to express that you you want to okay um give your relationship a chance work on this partnership so this is showing up for somebody and i did get a lot of past energy in the reading that i did for you guys this morning um that i just felt too rushed and i, I like the message but i felt like it was too quick so um, i will again like i said relay some of those messages there was reconciliation energy for some of the collective in the first message. And I feel like this is what this is, right? So it's this past energy. Um, maybe it's expressing that you want a chance with a past energy or vice versa, hearing it come in, maybe getting to know a past energy better that you didn't give a chance um, in the past. Okay, so let's see what's going on with it all. I am also going to pull three cards from my answers from angels oracle deck so just think of three questions that you have about your situation whatever right just three have them in the back of your mind these are your answers here at the end of the reading guys, okay draw three one more one what messages do we have for scorpio spirit What messages do we have for Scorpio Spirit? Sorry. Okay. What messages do we have for Scorpio Spirit? All right, three. And we'll just keep these up here until we're done. And then I just flipped this over and saw it. And this is something I feel like we should talk about. Take action. So, and this is, see the uh, rainbow here? This is representing happiness and uh I feel like it's taking action towards happiness, what you're happy about. This is your energy here, overall energy. I like it. Okay, so we're in the energy now, Scorpio, of not letting shit get in the way of our happiness, right, and taking action towards it instead of being scared of it or whatever this energy is here showing up, okay? So take action towards what makes you happy. Let's go ahead and pull the spread for you. Angels, ancestors, guys, what messages do you have for Scorpio? I just saw the tower. I feel like there has been a tower recently. Energy, energetically, Scorpio Collective. Um, I feel like there's this energy of like, I, I feel like um, it's like, I, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> like, whatever it is, it's like, I don't want to talk about it. Um, I just want to move forward. I hear you. again yeah see right on the money um the energy of this tower is put you in the energy of feeling stuck okay whatever happened here um this is my shit hit the fan card right <laughs> 
see how uh, everything looks like that. The tower is basically on fire and somehow we're in the ocean. So what is going on here and how we're getting out? I don't know, right? So um, that is the energy, Scorpio. I've just kind of, I feel like there's been like an element here, uh, especially whatever um, <sighs> collective energy that kind of was like beat down a little bit through retrograde, even if it was like emotionally or whatever, however it happened, it's this energy here, okay? The hangman, there is an energy of feeling stuck, okay? Um, maybe looking at the situation differently though, maybe afterwards, let's see this tower situation is kind of pushed you in the energy of looking at something differently here. Um, something, someone, the two of swords energy is needing to make a decision now. Uh, let's see. Involving an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. What does it mean to make a decision, spirit? Somebody's needing to make a decision to leave something behind here, Eight of Cups, and they're sad about it. There's some kind of, some. there's something that it's like, I feel like it's a decision that you want to feel, you want to leave something behind. And it, I feel like it's making you sad. Could be an older fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So, um... It's not an easy adjustment. And forever this is, that's an energy of something's not an easy adjustment or an easy change. There's a lot of despair behind something here. It could be involving family or a commitment, a marriage, 10 of pentacles energy. What is this judgment? The chariot in reverse. Tower, toxic energy, hiding feelings, not going anywhere, a situation that was like stuck, right? So something happened, it just like it was gonna happen. This is time for it to happen. It was like a situation that was going nowhere here for somebody, yeah. So now that you're out of some kind of a situation, you're noticing energetically that things are going better for you. Or that's what's happening or will be happening here, yeah. Somebody from the past is coming back. I felt it this morning. Six of uh, Cups energy. Somebody from the past wants a new relationship with you. We have Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Masculine and feminine energy, but this is energy also a very grounded energy. Um, somebody that... Um, <laughs> this person is like he somebody is like even like called him Captain Savaho or something funny like that before <laughs> it's a masculine <laughs> energy he has like a weakness for women but I don't feel like this is you Scorpio if you're feminine energy I don't feel like you're a hoe I just think this person has a very a thing for you and this is a past energy that's been involved with you somehow coming back I guess if that resonates with you you'll know um, <laughs> that's funny. Okay. Four of wands. I feel like this is, um, a soulmate connection, twin flame connection. This is perfection. This is like the perfect match here. Okay. So maybe that took some distance or time away from each other here. Maybe somebody's realizing that. Um, what if this four of swords energy? Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Putting something to rest here, though, right? Ace of Earth. Yeah, it's just energy of like any toxic energy is not welcome here. I hear you, Scorpio. I feel like you're just like this is this tower. I really feel like okay, this is this is what happens with Scorpio. Every time you experience this, right, do you not get a better understanding of 
what your boundaries are, what your personal boundaries are, what, what you will put up with, what you won't put up with, what you'll allow in your life energetically, right? It's tower after tower after tower, how we learn these lessons, how we rebuild and how we change things in our life and keep it moving, keep it pushing. Um, as a Scorpio, um, rebuilding, right? So that transformation, that rebirth, Scorpio, I feel it. And it's like every time you come back more powerful and, and fucking completely different. That's the amazing part, right? So it's again, I get excited because I get it. I get it. I'm that person too, right? So the wheel of fortune, okay? Changing everything here. But I see like with this is like the poker table. I feel like you're going to have good fortune, like the wheel of fortune, like almost the energy of, and that's the message I got this morning when I did a reading, it was good luck, right? So the last card that I pulled was from the Lenormand deck and it was the four leaf clover and we're going into March, which is also awesome, right? So, um, I feel like there's an incredible, March is going to be incredibly lucky. Okay. Sounds super cliche, but that's the energy that I feel like it's coming towards you or for you. Fuck it. If it's coming for you, let it have me, let it have you. Right. So, um, but Ace of Earth, this is something big. It's something amazing. It's, this is a divine blessing, okay? A large amount of money, a large investment, a new investment. You could be starting a business. You could be starting, you could have already been, um, investing time in something and actually seeing maybe six months in, seven months in, eight months in, a year, whatever this showing up, it's kind of the energy of whatever the seed is that you've been planting, maybe it's about to like explode, right? Maybe you're going to um, come into some, some large amount of money or abundance or in whatever it is that you've been building on here, if it is a personal business, okay, something very positive, I feel like is going to happen for you and your energy here. And I feel like it's the energy of, of kind of like, is this really real? Like, is this real life? Because this is the 360. Is this like, this isn't Scorpio life, right? <laughs> like March is going to be like that. Look, the sun. I love it. I love it. So it's like, believe it, believe it, believe it's coming. Believe you deserve it because it, it's your turn. Okay. The transformation, the death card is what I pulled in your premeditative energy. The first card, Scorpio. All right. So, and the high priestess. You are also very psychic, very intuitive. Um, what is this high priestess energy showing up? Pisces energy. The empress. Dear mother, trust your intuition about something in regards with your children here. Taurus energy, the emperor energy, Aries energy. Um, the Aries here, Abe, right, um, is the badass, the emperor that can't be stopped, right? That goes after what they want, gets shit done. Trust your intuition about something here. There could be a Taurus that's blocking you or wanting to block you or create a delay for some reason. And this energy is what I'm picking up or Aries energy. What is this Ten of Swords in reverse? Very grounded. It's like after this, this ending... This, like, whatever happened recently for you has pushed you into this energy, Scorpio, of just being very grounded. Mm. Excuse me. And look, you've got a romantic partnership, love. There's a lot of love in a situation here. Somebody drained, drained you though. The hangman left you stuck. Could have left you in a situation where you were just kind of like, you know, somebody like moves on and they don't think about, say you were living together and they left and you got stuck paying all the bills or fucked in some hard way, shape or form, right? And this person like moved on with their life and maybe they were already in another partnership carrying on, not really feeling any feelings, moving through whatever, right? So it's just kind of like not having to deal with the shit that you had to deal with, right? So it's kind of like, yeah, there's a lot of love here, but you left me stuck in shit. Okay. I feel like Scorpio, if somebody comes back, this is how you feel. <laughs> yeah. Like oppressed, like you're like kind of angry about this here. So I feel like if somebody comes back, they're going to hear a mouthful, but, uh, the nine of pentacles. Yeah. It's like, it kind of forced you to kind of put your, it pushed you into this energy of having to become this again. Right. Um, 
but it's kind of like, where were you when I needed you? Where were you when I needed you is what I kept hearing or keep hearing. Or will you be there when I need you? Somebody wants to change. They want to tell you they want to change. There was interference, fire energy. Trying to dominate a situation here. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. All right, y'all. So let's see. What other messages do we have? Let me get out of that before I get stuck again. <laughs> Final outcome, best advice. Yeah, something because the car horn out there. Um, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Yeah, uh, whoever that was tried. They tried. Maybe somebody took the bait to you or something. They tried. Maybe this is what you're angry about, Scorpio. Queen of Pentacles. The devil in reverse, three of cups in reverse. Yeah, it's just like you're not letting this shit get to you. The devil, jealousy, the three of cups, basically like friends, mean girls, whatever. This energy of just haters fucking hating right just to fucking hate you know what though it's like if you've got haters you're you're probably doing something right right um and this is what you're doing this is why they're hating queen of pentacles scorpio if they spent more time worrying about how to make this coin here like you're focused on it maybe they wouldn't be hating so damn much right <laughs> They'd be too worried about that money they're making. Okay, Seven of Pentacles energy in reverse, though. So, there should, your money isn't delayed anymore. Whatever's going on here, I feel like you've had to deal with a little bit of a headache here. There's some kind of a delay, though, that's not happening anymore or will not be happening. Page of Swords energy. Somebody, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Who? I said Aries Leo Sagittarius, but this is air energy, so it could be Aries Leo Sagittarius energy as well. Um, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini energy, but this is fast moving energy, hasty decisions. Some kind of hasty decisions here uh, isn't going to work out well for somebody. See how she looks worried in this deck? Like, shit, I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> but I did, right? <laughs> um... Queen of Swords, Temperance Energy, Sagittarius Energy is lying. There's a Sagittarius Energy that lies. Queen of Swords in reverse, Temperance Energy. Page of Swords over top of the Page of Swords. All right. It, put it, it stopped somebody from coming towards you. It could be a Virgo Energy here or the energy of uh, just taking some time out to think about shit. Scorpio. And maybe this is how you figured out this here. I don't know. Only you will know. But um, what's the best advice? Final outcome. Three of Wands. Expansion. Nine of Cups. Look, you're going to have expansion here because you're just, you're comfortable being alone. You're not worried about other people. You're not all up in other people's shit or fighting over a man or whatever this other fuck shit is that happened here. That has, I feel like you just kind of rose above it here. If you did deal with some drama, uh, maybe it sucked or maybe it's something that I feel like for somebody, there's something that continuously went on for a little while here. And this is the energy that you kind of had to like learn how to adapt in. And that's, um, I don't like that. Everything is fine. Ace of Pentacles though. Yeah, let's stop there. Tower again. So it's like, yeah, this, this kind of pushed you to this. Okay, so whatever, however this makes sense, Scorpio, this is the energy that I'm getting here for you. This made this happen, okay, for you. And so this is where you're at now. And I feel like in February, in, at the end of February, this past, this next week, excuse me, and the beginning of March, you're gonna be mind blown, right? When these blessings start to come in and you're, and you're really in this energy of understanding like, wow, I went from this to this, right? And being grateful for that abundance because that is a divine blessing, okay? And you know what's crazy? Um, some of the stuff that I recently went through, I kind of was meditating. I was meditating really heavy and saying my little prayer. And and I never say like, oh, God, you know, 
I want so-and-so to get revenge or not revenge or karma for doing what they did or please make sure because I'm tired of feeling like, you know, when people sometimes in regards to me and some things that have gone on, um, there's been some of it's like the times that we live in and then some of it, I wonder if it's like targeted crap, right? So, um, but nevertheless, <laughs> What I went through, it's just kind of, I was praying one day and was thinking about, all right, um, I think I, when I was meditating, I asked, are they, are they going to get the karma? Are they going to get the karma? Because I've had so many, I don't want to talk about my personal business too much because I feel like when your haters are watching you, that's how they have the ammo, right? So we don't need to discuss all of that or they have a way to get to you or fuck with you learn that lesson the hard way too, too many times now. Um, and <laughs> I was praying and I said, you know, please, are they going to get their karma? And I immediately heard yes. And I never like hear like answers like that, like that quick back, or if it's something that I like, you know, there was no, like I felt it in my stomach and I heard the word yes. So, you know, I feel like this is it Scorpio. Like, this is it. This is the answer. Okay. So it's like, this is, this is your ace of pentacles after, um, what you've been through recently. Okay. Um, and I feel like well-deserved, um, and enjoy it. Right. And it's the, get rid of any energy that makes you feel like you're not allowed to enjoy life or at least, um, distance yourself from those people and that energy for an extended period of time. If that is something that is affecting your life okay and for some reason I feel like that's necessary to talk about because that energy is kind of for some reason in this energy here that I'm picking up for someone or in the collective here okay so um last three cards remember I said ask three questions so I have compromise reconsider and let go so I feel like this is kind of self-explanatory if there's something that you're thinking about here if it's this past situation energy coming back or whatever it is, if you're thinking about reconsidering something, taking something back um, from the past here or um, a situation, person, whatever, place, thing that's going on here, that is a masculine energy in this card. Um, so if it's a romantic partnership, it's kind of like you have to either see how the scale, scales are balanced here, compromise in the situation or let go. Okay, so I feel like that's the message. If there is no compromise in a situation here, you're going to have to let go. Okay, so kind of take that in consideration here when you're reconsidering this connection, this situation. And maybe that's the communication that needs to be talked about in the communication between you and that person. Okay, because I feel like whatever happens, there's going to be a little bit of a fight here. I feel like, you know, people want answers, whatever. I don't think it's going to end ugly, but I feel like at first it's going to be a little... Scorpionic, okay? <laughs> so maybe hear this person out and not sting them right away, okay? All right, so I feel like, let's see. What other messages can we get really quick? I wanna grab a couple more from the Lenormand, Lenormand deck really quick for you guys. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Yeah, somebody knows you're single now, too. Maybe they were kind of spying or trying to figure out something somehow, Scorpio, but they know you're single. And we're going to, this is a message coming in to secrets. Oh, secrets, a message. Some, there's so, so yeah, again, this manipulative energy came in twice, three times, two or three times. Some, this is somebody trying to interfere. Mm-mm. Like, whose team are they on and why? Right? Why? What's going on here? Why? All right, you might be traveling soon. Near water, over water. The key. You have that key. The answers, the key. Luck here again. Okay, and then something that's been swept under the rug is coming out here, too. So, you already have the answer. You already know something. There's something that's been swept under the rug that's coming out and that you know. 
and look, this is the end of the reading too. So uh, I feel like that's extra confirmation. March is going to be amazingly abundant for us, you guys, right? I like it. I'll take it. <laughs> I'm going to leave the reading here. I hope it was helpful. If you'd like something more personal, again, that information is going to be in the description box below, how to reach me, etc. Make a payment. Lots and love and light. Thank you so much. Bye.